Welcome back to another episode of AEM 6.5 tutorials. In this video, we are going to introduce repo and AEM fed. First, let's get to the repo page. Go to installation homebrew, copy the command line and paste it on your terminal. And it will probably take a while to update your homebrew if you have never uh, installed it. There are several ways of transferring the JCR content from your local to your author instance. Uh, you can either rebuild the whole pro uh, package and it will rebuild the whole package and transfer everything from the local to the author instance. It means everything. Okay, it doesn't matter if you change anything or not, it will recompile, rebuild and, and publish it. We have covered that topic in our previous video while we made the um, weekend dev project. And the second way is you can use the repo, repo tools and repo works like the FTP uh, between your local and the author instance. It will transfer all the differences between your local and your author instance. Okay, now the tapping is done. We can go back to command and then copy the second command line and paste it onto our terminal, which is installing the actual repo onto your system. And then you can read through the documentation on how, how it's being used. Now we are going to integrate repo to Visual Studio Code. Go to um, configure task and then select create others. And then let me minimize this and then click on um, just copy and paste on the code over here, and save it. And next, uh, copy the keyboard shortcut code. And then let's go to code preference keyboard shortcut and then there's a on the upper right corner there's a, a bracket and then you click on it and then you just paste in the code and then save it and then you can look at the usage page uh, for uh, full blown usage. And right now I'm just gonna show you um, this is the installation. Now let's go back to Visual Code, Terminal, Run Task. If you see these four command, get file, push file, um, that means you are successfully installed repo. Next, we'll install AEM FED and go to terminal, clear it, and type in npm install AEM FED global. And this will install AEM FED on your system. And once the installation is done, you are ready to go. Um, there's not much more to it. And in the future video, we are going to use these tools for. Um, development AM. So stay tuned and peace out.